boxing time. Today's star will definitely get your heart racing. Guess what high-tech surprise is hidden inside this box? Ta-da! The brand new GMK DECK10 Mini PC is here. Inside the box, you'll find a user manual, warranty card, base amount, HDMI cable, and a 19-volt power adapter, metal body, and dual-band external antennas. The front panel includes one power button, two USB 3.2 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, one Type-C port, one 3.5 mm audio jack. The rear panel includes one DC power port, two USB 3.2 ports, two USB 2.0 Zero ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DP 1.4 port, one two 5G Ethernet port, one COM port, a total of eight USB ports, a full set, powered by Intel Core i9-1390AHK processor, 14 cores, 20 threads, boost clock up to 5.4 GHz. Whether for office work, AA gaming, video editing, or graphic design, it handles everything with ease. Now, let's open it up and explore the inside. K10 features a tool-free quick disassembly design. First, use a screwdriver to unscrew the bottom screws, then place your palm on the cover, push downward, and the cover will come off. Right in front of us are dual DDR55600 MHz memory slots. Gently pull the clips to remove the RAM sticks. There are also 3F to 2280 SSD slots. Use a screwdriver to unscrew and remove the SSD for DIY expansion. The K10 is equipped with two antenna connectors, mainly to enhance network signals. The antennas can also be installed or removed. Next, unscrew the screws securing the top cover by hand. Then, place your palm on the cover, push downward, and the top cover will come off. Below the external slot, you'll find the Wi-Fi module, which supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. To replace it, remove the insulation pad, detach the two cables, and unscrew the screws. Then, you can take out and replace the Wi-Fi module. Next, gently remove the two cables on the small board. Unscrew for screws to remove the small board. Beside the small board is a newly upgraded large precision crafted ultra-conductive copper heat sink and a high-flow turbo fan. This is mainly used for CPU cooling. Unscrew the screws on the turbo fan and plug the fan power cable, and you can remove it. Then, unscrew the heat sink screws to take out the heat sink. If you need to replace the thermal paste, wipe off the old thermal paste from both the CPU and heat sink. Then apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste evenly on the CPU. Pay attention to the assembly process as well. When reinstalling, align the CPU cooling system with the four mounting holes to prevent the thermal paste from shifting. When installing the Wi-Fi module, take note of the markings. These are the key points to note during assembly. It's super easy, right? Have you got the hang of it? If you still have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.